I like to start my New Year's in February because January is just a trial run for the things, the goals that I've set for myself and failed to keep up. Today's video is going to be talking about my 2020 life, financial, relationship, personal, work, employment, whatever, career goals that I have set for myself. Not to achieve, but to work towards in this new year that is upon us. So let's start with 2020 financial goals. As you all know, I am on a debt-free journey. I paid off my credit card loan, I paid off my car note. All that's left is my student loans that are roughly $78,000 that I plan to tackle because they're the bane of my existence. One of my 2020 financial goals is to pay off at least three of my student loans. Another one of my financial goals is to save $10,000 as like an emergency fund. Now I understand Dave Ramsey preaches the thousand dollar fund. However, I've had a thousand dollars in my emergency fund and that doesn't make me feel good at all. Like I have anxiety just thinking about it. While I'm paying off my student loans, I'm also making sure that I'm also building up my emergency fund. I feel comfortable knowing that I have that kind of money saved. Not there yet, but that is the goal. Another one of my 2020 financial goals is to have excellent credit score. So once I paid off my credit card and once I paid off my car note, my credit score went down. Normal. Sure. I'm getting penalized for being a, a financially responsible person. So my goal is to have an 800 plus credit score. Another one of my 2020 financial goals is to read at least five financial books on retirement, on investments, what a Roth IRA is. I'm 30 and I have retirement things set up through work, but ask me if I know anything about it. No. So this is the year that I really get invested in my investments and start planning for my future. My 2020 life goals, the first one is going to be to run a half marathon at the end of March. I signed up for one. That should kick in my New Year's resolution and life goal to also go back to my pre-academy weight, <laughs> so to lose 20 pounds, be consistent with my fitness journey, so work out at least three times a week, that is something I'm still struggling with, but I'm trying new things as far as incorporating runs so I can make it through my half marathon, but also um, joining workout classes and doing like CrossFit style workouts. Because I feel like I need to be yelled at to be motivated. On the YouTube side, my goal is to, I mean, ideally, I'd like to grow this channel. I've got little goals that I have set for myself. I'd, re I'd like to reach a thousand by the end of the year. So recommend my channel. Share my channel. <laughs> Spread the love, please. And with that comes my need to be consistent on YouTube because you're not going to grow a channel if you're inconsistent and I'm learning that. So I'm aiming for one upload a week. On the personal relationship side of it all, one of my goals this year is to get engaged to my boyfriend. I know he watches this video. <laughs> um, and then another one is to purchase a house together. So that's another life goal for 2020. And then another one for personal life goals is going to be to be a better friend because I'm really awful at falling off the face of the earth for like weeks, months on end, and then like popping back up and be like, hey guys, mostly has to do with um, my anxiety. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's true. Another one is to read at least two books a month. I realized that in school, I used to love reading. And ever since I graduated, I feel like it's a struggle to read more than like 240 characters at a time. As far as my career goals for 2020, I'd like to continue doing what I'm doing in the job where I'm at as a police officer. I'd like to continue doing that, maybe improve on mm, certain weaknesses that I know I'm weak at, traffic stops. So one of the main driving forces behind my want and need to be at my pre-academy weight is because ideally I'd like to go federal. In order to go Federal, you have to be in shape and you have to pass a physical test and you have to be mentally, emotionally, and physically prepared for that level of intensity. And that is something that I am working towards. So those are my goals for 2020. Let me know in the comments below what your goals are for the new year and what are the steps that you're taking to ensure that you're going to be able to meet those goals and maybe exceed those goals. Don't forget to like, 
don't forget to share, sure, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay awesome. Bye.